finally we were we were just done. We called it. We we're just like it's it's done. I told her I wanted a divorce. At that point, I was just done. I felt like okay, um, I'm gonna try to figure out who I am without marriage. When I finally met Mike, um, I didn't ever expect that I would have anyone actually like be interested in me. You know, single mom, two kids. When I found out about Mike was in the picture, um, I think my main concern is who is this guy? You know, what is his background and everything else? Well, um, I found out that he was prior service. Um, so I was okay, cool. You know, he's part of my tribe. I remember going through a class here at the Met. Mike and I decided to take it, and it was the marriage, divorce, remarriage. Taking this class and meeting people really helped us figure out what it means to serve together, I guess. And once we decided to do that, I could see a growth in our relationship, for sure. I started to see some of the things, or recognize some of the things that I did wrong, like in my previous marriage. And once I recognized that, I remember even picking up the phone and it wasn't easy, but <laughs> I called Brandon and I said, hey, I know things aren't the best. We don't always get along. I know we're trying to do our best here, but I never did tell you that I was sorry. And I uh, for where I was wrong, you know, um, I didn't always respond the correct way. Brandon had said something to me one time on the phone about like, you know, I'd, I'd really love to, you know, get to know Mike, you know, and um, I can see that th that he loves the kids and, and he cares about them. And, and I, you know, and I appreciate that, you know, so that meant a lot to me because I guess I never thought that whatever, those were words that would come out of his mouth. And the kids, you know, began to have a, an amazing relationship with us, you know, and, and we, I think they sensed and could see that we had love in our heart for their dad as well and that it it meant a lot for us to also see him happy as well. I can keep distance from Lisa, but I'm putting my kids through the same thing that my father put me through. And why would I do that? You know? It was right then and there I promised myself to have a good relationship with her, no matter how I felt, you know, I'm gonna work really hard at it. Start working at it, working at it, and now we're in a much better place. This is our second marriage. Uh, she has a couple of kids, I have a few as, as well. <laughs> and, uh, you know, once we get together and have God, you know, literally legit as our foundation, we're able to have a second chance, not individually, but as a family, including Brandon. So when I think of second chances, I... Well, it's a chance of either being reborn or redirecting yourself. Second chance of having a good relationship and, and a prosperous relationship, relationship with God being the foundation. What has ever happened in the past is always going to be in the past. There's nothing you can do to change it. Absolutely nothing. What you can do today is you can learn from your past and change your path, change your trajectory, you know, be reborn and, and change your future. You don't have to keep going that way, you know. Uh, so I think that's, yeah, second chances. <laughs>